we've seen it applied in the lab. We're going to take a look at a little more realistic location in the field. Now what you're going to encounter is probably more like this. It's, uh, typically they're low set pipes, probably in damp locations. Some of them are probably on the ground if uh, not very close to it. So in addition to your ZIF tape, you're probably going to need other items such as a shovel, maybe even a pick because uh, some of the compressed limestone here is just about as uh, easy to move as concrete. Some tin snips, a replacement shroud and uh, insulation if you have it, uh, as well as your wire brush, scrapers, and, uh, and solvent. Uh, towels, paper towels work particularly well uh, simply because they can be set out to uh, have the solvent evaporate and after that can be thrown into the garbage. So, Five or ten minutes here, we'll have this dug up and uh, we'll be back to uh, start taking the shroud off. Well, you're back. That only took about five minutes. And now that we have enough room to work, stretch the tape around the pipe, we can remove the shroud. Uh, don't forget to uh, take care of any heat trace wires that you may have. And uh, this will give us a chance to look at the insulation and uh, see how bad things are. I've already took the liberty of cutting the uh, shroud loose to save a little bit of time. So we can kind of look at things together. see that uh, this insulation is particularly dry. Uh, it's not uncommon to have an awful lot of water pouring out of these. And it is indeed a little bit rusty. Uh, but cleaning should proceed just as we described in the lab. Uh, remembering again, solvent wipe, a braid solvent wipe. And it looks like we'll see you in about 15 minutes or so. Okay, that took uh, a little closer to 20 minutes. Uh, a fair amount of pack rust underneath the pipe here I had to scrape off first. Uh, it's pretty common actually. Uh, the, uh, the pack rust where the water is sitting uh, develops pretty quickly. Now, just as in the laboratory, uh, we're going to start with our anchor wrap and then proceed down the pipe with the spiral. You notice I've taken my gloves off. I want to make sure that uh, we keep the tape clean, no uh, rust or uh, solvent or anything gets underneath it. And here's an old repair on this section. I'm going to overlap with it to start my anchor wrap. so important to get enough room to stretch your 20 to 30 percent here and maintain tension. It's certainly also a lot easier with two people to do this since one could be peeling back the inner leafing while the other one's stretching the tape. Make sure you get no wrinkles, no air gap, gaps, or bubbles. Cut. That completes the tape portion of this repair. Remember again, anchor, spiral, anchor, and then the insurance wraps at each end already done that guy and this will be the last one. So now I can replace the insulation, the shroud, and our job's complete. That completes our repair. 
If you come prepared with tools and replacement materials, a three foot job like this should take less than an hour. Until next time, this is Chuck from Z-Rust. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact us at the website shown at the bottom of the screen.